Welcome back to Jeevus Gaming guys and today we're going to be doing the Q&A and giveaway video that we promised. Now I thought long and hard if I should expose my face or not and I decided you know what maybe I shouldn't but you guys gotta let me know should I expose myself in the future or should I remain a secret ninja. But if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Leave this video a double big fat thumbs up for 10k and make sure you hit the notification bell and follow us on all the social media links will be in the description. Let's get into this Q&A. So before we get into it, what do you guys think of the new logo? Check this out. I think it looks a lot better than we did before. That kind of really didn't represent anything. Along with the new channel art, you guys also let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Anyway, let's actually start answering some questions because we got a lot of them. If you have some really weird questions, I left them out on purpose so you're not going to get them answered. Let's go. All right, so Baby Learning TV asked, how do you make that background thing which says Jeebus Gaming 9K subs work? I saw it in the shop and I'm thinking of buying it or the for the background of my videos, could you make a video on how to use it and make it work? Well, it's really a lot simpler than it looks. It just comes from five below. It's just a light board and look, like these letters slide in and out and you get a bunch of letters that come with it, like a hundred some letters with it. And you just slide them in and out, whatever you want. It's really easy. Like I said, every row just slides in and out. And, and there's just this switch on the back that lights up. A lot easier than it looks. Austin Goodyear asked, what got you started dumpster diving? Tales of Taylor. Like a long time ago, like I don't remember what year, like maybe 2013-ish. Around that time, I was watching some game video. I saw a, a thumbnail on the side about finding all this stuff in a dumpster. And like everyone else has never dumpster dived, I'm like, no way he's lying. I watched it, went out and tried it, and since then, I've been hooked for years. Scott Rayford. Ask, what's your most favorite meal? Mine is meatloaf with mashed potatoes and gravy, lol. Steak and bacon. I gotta keep this sexy physique up right here. You know, these guts don't come by themselves. You gotta work for them. So definitely steak and bacon. Nice and high in calories. Mm. <laughs> Teresa Blackmon asks, Games 3DS. That's not a question. That's not a question. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle N, why do you start dumpster diving? Again, Tales of Taylor. His videos got me into this. Kayla O, my girl, when did you start dumpster diving and what made you start? Again, like I said, I'm trying not to answer as many duplicates. Tales of Taylor, about 2013-ish. I don't remember the exact day, but sometimes back then. Killer Funkool, what would be your dream find from each of the stores you go to? Okay, GameStop would be a PlayStation 4, because I have an Xbox One already. I don't need another one. Even though I found another one, I didn't need it. Five below, I don't even know. It's like a huge inventory or something awesome, like a huge box, like unopened merchandise. And Barnes and Noble is just Dragon Ball Z stuff. That's my favorite anime ever. So anything Dragon Ball Z related or mystery figures, mystery figures of Dragon Ball Z, those are my favorites. Jay Brewer asked two questions. What was your first big find dumpster diving? Okay, so when I first started it, the very first day, all we found was a few cases, so we didn't think much of it. The next day, we go to a bunch of GameStops, and in the last one, at like 6 in the morning, we've been out all night, there's a boxes of just probably, I think it was 168 total PSP games, and it was like a heist, I'm telling you, we're at the dumpster, the trash truck is coming down the alleyway, it's raining, we're grabbing, all, like, there's three of us all grabbing PSP games, throwing them in the trunk, trying to beat the trash truck, but that night, we got 100 some PSP games, made like $400, and that was the day I was like, I'm not going to stop this. This is free money. Free money. His second question was, what is your favorite find from dumpster diving? Uh, let's see. Personal favorite for myself would be the Dragon Ball Z figures. But as far as like making money would be the kiosks. Those kiosks we sold for three, four, five hundred dollars a piece. So that's a lot of money for a college student. A lot. All right. I apologize for any name mispronunciations, but Sander Wagedin. <laughs> how much have you donated to charity in oh, total? Man. And how did they look when you came a while ago with all those clothes, like a car full? Ha <laughs> ha. I have no idea. I don't take the tax write-off receipts. I know some people do, but like I don't itemize my taxes or anything, so I don't ever have a use for them. But I mean, it's gotta be thousands. I bet you it's close to ten grand worth total, and I didn't pay a dime for any of it. And those people that took the clothes are actually running like us. If you go back and watch the video, I'll link it up top right here. It's a very small organization that gives around to everybody. They were really psyched, so it does really make you feel good because you know they're gonna do good with it. Nicole I asked, did you meet your fiance dumpster diving? 
No. <laughs> I've only been Dumpster Diving like four or five years. We've been together eight years this April, so it was when I was still a sophomore in high school, I think. Well, we didn't even meet then. That's when we got together. We've known each other our whole life, so that's when we got together. Jay Lewis says, hey, can I be the winner, Jeebus Gaming? No. Maybe. I'm not going to say no. Maybe. If the random generator's on your side. Rice and Lamar, what's your odd things found in the dumpster god, man? The oddest, I still think the most odd two things would be the deer, because I live in the city. If I live in the country, I found a ripped apart deer. I'm like, okay, they hunted it. They took what they wanted. They threw it in the dumpster. I live in a city where there's no hunting allowed. There's a gutted deer with his guts everywhere. That was pretty weird. And finding an ATM machine was really random too. Especially after we got at home and our family's like, what if somebody robbed that and threw their ass in the dumpster? And I was like, oh gosh, what if I just found a stolen ATM? But we did confirm it was at the bank. They threw it out because the bank had closed down. So at first that was pretty odd. YouTube Gamer asked, did you think you would ever get to 1K or even 10K subs? Why did you start posting on YouTube? Wow, I've been here since about 5 to 6K or even before, and to see you at 10K is crazy. Oh man, YouTube has been one heck of a journey. So we started, this is actually my third attempt now. This is our third YouTube channel, and the first one we're finally getting real success with. We first started like back when Minnesota Burns, if you guys remember him, was trolling people. And we just thought trolling was like the funniest thing. And that was the first channel we would just go to Walmart asking people like stupid questions and record them answering and recording gameplay on a camera off a of TV before El Gatos came big. Then we had another Jeebus Gaming. I don't think anyone's here remembers the old Jeebus Gaming. There's maybe one or two of you guys, but we had another Jeebus Gaming. Had a lot of problems. We were way too concerned about numbers. That was the problem. We were growing the channel the complete wrong way where you have like no watch time, no nothing, and we just shut it down. So it was just crap. And then this one, I started, this is the transformation this has been through. I started making RuneScape videos first and got bored of it. Started making MMA and UFC videos, got bored of it. And um, this is gonna be kind of weird for you guys, but we started making baiting pedophiles and catching like sex offenders basically and exposing them online and then YouTube said like you can't have this kind of video so we deleted all that then I figured why not let's just start dumpster diving again it was fun let's do it and then we started just growing this like blew up like crazy so that's been the evolution of this channel <laughs> Shay Johnson asked what was your favorite movie as a kid it has to be in 1998 or higher uh... I like Barnyard. That's a kid movie I love a lot. I love Barnyard. I think that was like in the 2000s. Even now as an adult, I still love that movie. I loved it when I first saw it as a kid. Also Ice Age. Those two are probably my favorite animated movies if you're talking about kid movies. Richard Sparks. This is more of a compliment than a question. I followed you on all of it, everything. Haha. <laughs> Next Speedy Diver for sure. No questions asked. Uh, thank you. Thank you. If I don't get picked, can you at least give me an Xbox 3 month code? Um, no. That was by Alvaro Soto, by the way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bryce Clendenin, what is your favorite dumpster diving spot? That's a hard one. I'm a gamer, so I love GameStop, but Barnes & Noble, even though I don't know, you guys see the videos, I don't know what 75% of the stuff I find is. It's just exciting because I know how much it costs and how much people would really want it. So I would say between Barnes & Noble and GameStop, Five Below is cool, but you know like the coolest thing you find is worth five bucks. It's not like that crazy. So I would say probably Barnes & Noble. Richard Sparks actually has a question this time. <laughs> if you haven't already recorded the Q&A, I have another. You say you and your fiance are getting married. When? Have you thought of a day like next year or next week? We're thinking 2020. This, we want to finish school completely. Done, be completely done with college and have like that debt start to be paid off. 2020 will be 10 years we've been together. We've been together since April 2010, so that'll be 10 years and we'll be done with college and have like the majority of that debt paid away, so probably around then. Rosanna DeHaro, when donating items, do you feel glad for finding said items and not let them go to waste? I'm glad that you're one of the many people who donate stuff to those who are in need. Yes, that's one of the biggest things to me with dumpster diving. I can't tell you how many times I'm like, we live in a big city, very high population. We see, I see homeless people all the time. It drives me crazy when you can see somebody with a sign that needs food and you go down the street and you take a corner and you go behind a shopping center and there's 30 pounds of bread sitting in the dumpster or 30 packs of cookies and brownies. I'm like, these people are out here dying and they can barely make it and you could help them. You could save their lives, but instead you're worried about tax write-off and lawsuits. Just donate it. That's it. If you don't do it, I'll do it. That's fine. 
That's one of the biggest reasons I do it. It annoys the crap out of me. Especially around Christmas. Toys for Tots. I give away so many toys. I'm like, these kids didn't do nothing at all to get put in this position. So why would you not help them? Why? Brandon Egan, what is your best video game that you like? <sighs> Favorite video game or best video game? It's I'm going to go three. RuneScape, I was absolutely addicted to for years. Like... I don't even know how many hundreds of days of gameplay I got in that game. I love RuneScape. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite console game by far. I have 90 some days gameplay in that, and I heard they're remaking it in 2019. If they do, my life's over. If I had to pick a third one, I would say Grand Theft Auto, because I don't know. I think San Andreas would probably be my favorite. Same with Bully. I, I like Rockstar and Fallout. I don't know. Don't ask a gamer that question. <laughs> There's a lot. Rockstar, Bethesda are my two favorite companies, and I love RuneScape too. Fusion Snowball. How much time per week do you spend diving, filming, and editing? Okay, so diving, we're probably out three to four hours every night. Sometimes more, depending on the day. And that's If we're not out of town, that's seven days a week. So say four, that's 28 hours right there. I say maybe an hour for each video. There's not much editing. It's really just clipping the, the silent parts and the awkward things. So maybe about an hour of editing and processing each one. So that's seven more. I make that a 35. And everything else, I mean, putting the tags in, titling it, and all that's probably another four or five hours. So honestly, I would say 40 hours a week. It's like another job. It's a full-time job, basically. I got a full-time job, and I also got my part-time job, and I'm a full-time student at college. You got to hustle out here. You got to hustle to get what you want. Ali Nat Jane Croston asks, how long have you been doing this for? YouTube or dumpster diving? YouTube, I'm, this channel is, I'm a count that I've really started doing, taking it seriously, and it's been since September. Dumpster diving, yeah, like I said, since about 2013, so about five years, on and off. Michelle Mc, McEvoy <laughs> asks, what is the most random thing you have ever found in a dumpster, and have you ever bumped into fellow YouTubers while out diving, and do you subscribe to other diving channels? <laughs> Uh, the most random thing, like I said, probably the deer, the ATM. I bumped into people dumpster diving. Do I know? I don't know if they have a channel. I never talked about it, and that's. I mean, I guess since I never know my show my face, most people aren't gonna recognize me. I don't. I try not to talk because, like, I've said it before. I like dealing with people socially. It freaks me out a little bit, so I like make the conversation as short as possible. So, just by the slightest thing, mean, people like are giving me timestamps where pieces of my face are shown. So I don't know. If they're recognizing me or not, like I've gotten a hundred comments in the last week where they're like, if you pause the video at 1632, you can see a reflection in the phone case in the bottom right half of your face. I'm like, man, you guys are paying attention, paying a lot of attention. I don't know if anyone ever recognizes me, but I never got anything said to me. And yes, I do subscribe to some channels. I'm subscribed to Speedy Diver, Bandit Exploration Squad, Tales of Taylor. I watch other ones every now and then, but those are the three I watch the most. I rockin ask can you do any like acrobatic stuff i do cartwheels or whatever <laughs> no i can get out of bed does that count that's about all i can do at this point i can't do no acrobatic stuff i'm not fast i'm like the, the big guy that was fat and strong like i was a lineman when i played football i was on the line i can lift a lot of weight pack a lot of power but speed and acrobatics no not at all not at all valerie t asked what has been the most expensive thing you've found? And have you ever been tempted to take something, but it's been covered in gunk? Uh, that happens all the time. I found lots of stuff that's just covered in I call it dumpster juice. That's what it looks like to me. I hear other dumpsters ever say it too. It's dumpster juice. And I, I just won't touch it because it smells terrible. The most expensive thing we found, if you're counting single item, it was the complete Xbox One kiosk that we found with the demo console in it. We sold for 500 some dollars. But if you're counting total, that big Barnes & Noble to haul. I mean, we sold maybe like half of it. A lot of, we gave a lot to somebody too. So with the half of it we sold, I mean, we probably made seven, eight, nine hundred dollars and gave away a lot of it pretty much too. So between those two. Chris Lurito asks, what inspired you to dumpster dive? Tales of Taylor. Tales of Taylor again. <laughs> Landon Pels asks, what is your favorite anime or collectible item that you own? And also, what is your favorite band if you have one? My yeah, favorite anime is Dragon Ball Z. I mean, the collectibles, I've shown you what I have. I don't have too much. But if you're saying collectible items in general, I'm a huge UFC fan. I collect that too. I got an authentic belt signed by Anderson Silva in a case. That's probably my favorite item I own. That's worth like over a grand easy. And what was the last part of that? What's your favorite band if you have one? I'm more of an old school rap person, but with rock, I did love Linkin Park. I like Sick Puppies. That's about it, not really. I like Linkin Park like everyone did, I guess. I'm a bandwagon when it comes to rock. I was more of a rap person. Gamer King 
asks, why do you do dumpster diving? And I love the channel. Because it's fun, the thrill of the unknown. I got something I've realized that entices me like on all aspects of my life. I love traveling to new places because I don't know what's there. I love going in dumpsters because I don't know what's there. I'm a gambler too. I love gambling because I don't know what I can win. I love mystery figures because I don't know what's in there. I just, I like doing stuff where I don't know what's going to happen. And I guess that's the cheapest way I can do it. And plus, you're helping people. You can find stuff you want. There's just a lot of positives to it. Tim Sherbert asked, how old were you when you first started to do dumpster diving? Uh, if I had to take a guess, I was like 19, 18. I'm just, like, I'm just taking a guess. I really don't remember the exact date. If you go to Tales of Taylor's channel, watch when he first started uploading dumpster diving videos around that time. So I would say 19, maybe. Steve Freeman asked, how much have you donated? Like I said, no idea, but I would say 10 grand or more worth of stuff that I had to pay nothing for. H. Warum, if I got that right. How <laughs> or where did you get your inspiration to upload YouTube videos? Uh, it's like I said, it's been a long journey. <laughs> Originally, when I first started six years ago, whatever, it was Minnesota Burns. And then I just started doing gaming because I was like, why not? I play too many games. Let's try to make something out of it. Got really bored of it. And then started going back to dumpster diving. Like literally when my old channel was like three or four years ago, we uploaded dumpster diving videos and they got thousands of views. And I just left it. And I came back and I seen people like Speedy Diver who just popped up out of nowhere. Like back then, like we never heard of his channel didn't exist back then. And now he's got like 800,000 subscribers. And I'm like, man, we've been doing this for years. We can come back and do this too. Look how big he's gotten in this time. We could have done this too. Let's get back into dumpster diving. Let's try to blow this up. And it seems to be working so far. 10K right now. I'm pretty happy about that. David M. Rodriguez. What does a fox say, Jeeves? I'm not going to huh? do it. No, 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 no. You're not getting that satisfaction. <laughs> he also said you just giving him stuff away. You got so much. I do, right? My closet's full, man. We need the winter, um, summer, spring back to have yard sales. Palmer Verna says what is your major in school what are you going to do with the game cases now that you have finished your room looks really good by the way um computer science or it i kind of bounce back and forth i mean i'm probably going to stick more at the it web design side because i can take my classes online because taking class trying to balance going to campus working and doing youtube was just not working for me and i know this sounds bad to most adults but i'm more focused on growing this youtube channel than i am and putting effort into work and stuff i this is what i love to do this is what i love to do and i'd rather suffer being broke for a couple of years and end up doing what I want to do for the rest of my life and just sit through a job that just because it pays well and I hate it. It's just, I don't know. But that's fine. In the game cases, I'm just kind of piling up because I find loose discs sometimes and you never know when you need to complete the game. Aldalberto Delgado asks, what do you think of me winning? I don't know. Is the random generator on your side? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Daz asks, if you could dumpster dive any place in the world, what place would it be? Oh man, game companies, like we were on a trip one time, we went really far north and we're coming back down. We were going through a part of Maryland and we went right by, I just Googled it because I realized the city we're in, we're right by Bethesda. I looked up Bethesda headquarters and I found ZeniMax and everything, but there was all no trespassing, like barbed wire fences around there. But I would love to go to like a major game company, like Rockstar or Bethesda and just see the stuff they throw away. You can find like blueprints and features in upcoming games. That would be amazing. I really, I was so psyched. I was like, I'm going to have an explosive video dumpster diving up. But that's the, and then no, that stuff was like military guarded. No chance. Valeria Rivera Angelis asks, <laughs> what is the best thing you have found in GameStop dumpster? Well, the Xbox One kiosk was kind of like right outside the dumpster, but I would count that again. $540, $550, something like that we got for that. I mean, heavy lifting for an hour, $550. Bucks. <laughs> I'll take that all day, every day. Raysa T, what is the most expensive item you found from dumpster diving? Xbox One kiosk again. Unless you're counting multiple objects in the Barnes and Noble Hall, but one single object that was five hundred fifty dollars for that complete thing. Chris Morales, what time is the, I guess, best time to dumpster dive? What should you look at for? Okay, it depends on you. Like if you're a guy and you're not as, like afraid to be around. Like a lot of, I'm in dumpster diving groups. I'm gonna put it this way. There's a lot of women in there and they dumpster dive by themselves, and they're worried about being out late by by themselves. Cause I mean, obviously if you're smaller and there's people that can assault you, then you might want to go there in a day. But I'm, like I said, I don't like social contact, but I'm six, six, 300 pounds. And I've been fighting and doing combat sports for 15 years. I can handle myself and I have a gun too, a lot of times. So I don't care about people like that. I don't, I'm not scared of confrontation. 
but I go at night because I don't want to get caught. Like, re really, fighting two people is less scary to me than having that employee will open the door and say, what are you doing? I'd rather fight off two people than have to do that. So, if you're worried about getting caught, go at night. If you're worried about being assaulted or something like that, go during the day. Also, if you go during the day, you can get an orange vest from Walmart, no joke, and just put it on, and most people everywhere around you, they're gonna think you're just working. Just wear an orange vest, go dumpster diving, you can get away with it all day. Chris Morales also said, impressive, amazing. Thank you. Fedora Namens, what did you do with that huge pop collection you found? Is it worth the gas money you spent on dumpster diving? And she, or he, follows on Twitter and IG. Pop collection we pretty much sold. Like, I don't collect them. I only collect pops for like the specific shows I like. I know some people just collect pops in general and I try to keep all of them. Like I have all the UFC pops and I have a few Dragon Ball Z pops. I don't collect them like that. So we sold them off. I think we got quite a bit of money off that. And during the summer and spring, if you're talking pure money, in the spring and summer, you can make your money back having yard sales every other week. We usually have to fill the car up, I would say twice a week, and it's about 40 bucks each time. So 80 bucks a week in gas, and so $160, and we have a yard sale, make about 300 so we're making like 140 bucks profit from dumpster diving. But the thing is, it's fun, you know, like if I have spare time, that's what I want to be doing anyway. So if I can get paid to do what I want, it's worth it to me. But during the winter, you do kind of lose money because you can't sell your yard sale. We're just stockpiling right now. We have a pile's worth of stuff because nobody's going to come in a yard sale when it's 25 degrees, unfortunately. Ruvik asked, have you been caught dumpster diving? Great videos, by the way. Oh, yeah. I've been caught. It's really, really... I've been caught by an employee. Look, this is my trick. I don't know how many times I've done this before. Like, we pull the car by the dumpster, and they open the... I'm looking in there, and they open the door, and by the time the door is open, I'm on my tire. I'm like, oh, and they're like, is something wrong? I'm like, yeah, I just ran something over. I heard something in my tire. I was just checking it. And they're like, oh, do you need help? Like, no, I'm fine. No problem. Thank you. In reality, I get out of there so fast. Like, my, my body reacts faster than I could think. It's like muscle memory. But I have been caught by security a couple of times, and it's awkward. Because in my area, they're like mostly foreign, and they don't understand what you're trying to tell them at all. And they just start screaming and yelling. We had one guy speed up like 80 miles per hour behind us say, I run the shopping center. I'm like, Here's your cookie, I don't care. They just take it way too serious. Security guards are way too serious. Police, they're like, okay, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing wrong, you know, don't make a mess. Don't do nothing bad. And the security guards act like you just committed a felony. So yeah, I've been caught. <laughs> Scrap gods for the boys. Not so much a question, just a message. Jeebus just wanted to say man up, stop being scared. It's just a dumpster <laughs> with people around. Just man up, shut up like Nike say, just do it. Big fan, hope I win. Just man up and face your fear. Dumpster diving, that is your dream, that is life. Just do it. Who cares about signs at Walgreens? Just do it. P.S. Well, man up. Well, those signs that say no <laughs> trespassing is like, could put you in jail. It's not a banning up thing, it's like a common sense thing. Like, if you're gonna risk going to jail for trash, I think you need a mental evaluation personally. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. If it's illegal, I'm not going near it. And as far as the fear thing, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been that way since I was a little kid. Like, my mom tells me the story all the time. Like, the first time she took me to preschool when I was like three, I don't have no memory of this, but she always tells me the story. She said I would like hide from people just to not talk to them. I would hide under a table and they had to call her and say, something wrong with your son? I've just always been super, super shy and just, I don't know. I don't like dealing with people. But as far as the signs come from, that's just stupid. Don't dumpster dive if there's no trust housing sign. That's dumb. It's nothing to do with manning up. That's just being idiotic. <laughs> Derpter Reviews asks, where is your favorite place to donate? Uh, I like Toys for Tots because I know that's going straight to kids and they make it easy. Like the other places want you to fill out forms and all this. Even if I'm like, I don't want a tax receipt, they're still like, fill this out, fill this out, fill this out. Toys for Tots, they'll come to your car, they'll help you carry everything in, and you don't have to fill out nothing. You just come two seconds and leave. It makes it really easy. Elizabeth Davis asks, how come other divers say there's never nothing in GameStop dumpsters, but you seem to find all kinds of things? I haven't found nothing in GameStop in like three months. I don't know what, like at all. I mean, have you watched Speedy Diver? He finds stuff 24-7. He's got the gold mine GameStop. My GameStop have been sucking lately. And you guys see in our videos, we go to three, four, five, six every single night. And we've been coming up really shorthanded. It's November, like September through December is when you're going to find the most. Because you've got people trading in games to try to buy Christmas presents and buy things for Christmas. That's when your dumpsters are going to be the best at GameStop because all the trade-ins. Around this time, everyone's just bought what they want. I mean, the only time you're getting something is if it's damaged or anything. They're not really nobody trading stuff in at this time. So that's why most people aren't finding it except for his gold mine dumpster. I wish I lived there. <laughs> AGP space GP. When is the winner going to be revealed? some point in this video, you just gotta be ready. 
Randy Wright asked, do you ever dumpster dive at Best Buy or Office Depot? Office Depot all the time. Best Buy, man, I've been trying to find one without a compactor forever. I've never found one. I mean, I've gone all over the country on vacation and stuff. I've never seen a Best Buy that doesn't use a compactor. So the day I find one, I will definitely dive there. But the compactors just crush everything. Yavor Nikolov and Low Guard of Honor asked, what's the best thing you found dumpster diving so far? Kiosk, Xbox One kiosk. Thrift Store Dragon asked, what is the strangest thing you've ever seen in a dumpster on one of your dives, besides the deer, of course, and was it something you did or did not bring home? I got one. I didn't put it in a video because I was scared of YouTube, like, I don't know demonetizing the video one time we were at cvs and it's like they cleaned out the whole sex aisle like there's a bag just full of condoms douches lubricant and everything else and i took the, like, the douches just as a joke because i put it in a gift bag and put it to my brother and put it in his room they were unused of course but i just put it in a gift bag to give it to him but no it, of course didn't use none of that gross stuff but we just wanted to do it for gag purposes but that was pretty awkward it really was T.A. McCurdy says, I love your items from Barnes & Noble and Five Below. My question is, do you give the majority of your finds away? If you sell them, what has been the most successful selling item? Especially, during, like I said, during the winter, we give 90% of the stuff we find away. During the spring and summer, it's more of like a 50-50. We do sell a lot of yard sales. I just don't like dealing. Like A lot of people are like, can you sell this on eBay? And it's something from Five Below. And I'm like, it's going to cost me $7 to ship it. And it's not even worth, you're paying triple what the price of it's worth. It's just not worth it to ship some of this stuff out that people want. But anything from Barnes & Noble sells like that. Video games sell like that. I mean, pretty much everything does. But the kiosks, the kiosks are the best. I put it online and within like an hour, I had like seven people offering me $300, $400. Those, when you find those, I'm just like, yep, there comes the money. Michelle Olsen asks, why are you so scared when you go dumpster driving? Because I have extreme social anxiety. I don't know why. I wish I didn't. I really do. I hate it. It drives me crazy. But it's not like just a mental thing. Like when you... If you have like social anxiety or any form of anxiety, like your heart rate speeds up, you feel like you can't catch your breath, and you just feel like this, like you just want to ball up and hide your face. I don't know why. I've been like that since I was little. It's just, it's just the socialness. I don't know what it is. I, I wish I can get over. It. I really do, but it's just something I've dealt with my whole life. Lori E, what state do you dumpster dive? I dumpster dive in. <laughs> HB Dot Nation. What inspired you to start dumpster diving and what was the best thing you have ever found? Tales of Taylor got me dumpster diving and uh, like, it's hard to say the best things. If you're talking money in the kiosk, you're talking personal favor to be those Dragon Ball Z figures. Awesome. Review asks, how did you get started as a YouTuber? I, I explained that process. It went through so much. It went from trolling people to making random gaming videos to dumpster diving. <laughs> Eli Cohen Kukanik? <laughs> I like the character stuff you find at Barnes & Noble. What is your all-time favorite movie? All-time favorite movie? I have two. I have to pick between the two. It's Never Back Down and 300. My family is like, my grandmother's side of the family comes from Greece. I even have a Spartan on my freaking arm. I mean, you can't see it on camera, but I have a freaking Spartan on my arm right here. I just, I love the whole Spartan mentality, the Never Back Down, like you fight to the death. And Never Back Down, I'm a huge MMA fan, so between those two. Adam Herman, just like I can say his name, he has a duplicate question. What's the best thing you ever found dumpster driving? Kiosk. Chris Bright asks, how many miles do you cover on your dumpster driving route? You don't want to know. I mean, on an average night, I would say 80 miles. But we've gone well over 100 before just to do it because it's just so fun making the videos. It really is. And just like if I have to skip one, I'll go back if it takes us 15 more miles. Like it just drives me crazy. It's, I mean, it takes a lot of gas. If you have a bigger car, you might not want to do it. But we have a Toyota Camry, so it's pretty good on gas. Even though it's old, it's still pretty good on gas. Mark Andre Charbonneau. Can you guys imagine me trying to pronounce these? <laughs> Are you making a lot of money dumpster diving? Not really, <laughs> honestly. A lot of the money, I mean, goes right back into it. Like I said, we drive an old car with almost 200,000 miles on it. We got to buy oil. It's got a cracked engine it leaks oil we got to repair the oil uh, one of the rims are bad we got to put air in the tire all the time and then the gas and you don't really make that much profit off it it's just it's the fun of it and the potential of growing a youtube channel to where you can make more money in the future but for now it's mostly just for fun robert strong fox asks what's the strangest and or coolest thing you you ever found while dumpster diving 
strangest and coolest thing. I, I gotta say, even though there's nothing in it, that ATM machine, you, you know that firsthand. I think it was fun moving, wasn't it? But it, it was just a, I don't know, man. That was weird. Seeing a freaking ATM machine just, the wonders instantly, I was like, oh my God, there's like $5,000 in here. It blew my mind for a second. Even though there ended up being nothing in it and destroyed my carpet, my wall, my railing, and everything else, it was worth every second of it to know what was in that thing. Night Owl, what is your favorite place to dumpster dive and what is the best thing you found? Barnes and Noble and kiosks at GameStop. Wing God 2. Hello Jeebus, have you found a PS4 at the GameStop and be safe when you go out there? No I have not, but fingers crossed all four of them that I will find more in the future. Yeah look, my crooked fingers are crossed. Everyone likes to comment on my crooked fingers. Look at that. Is that weird? Is that really that weird looking? I don't know. Whatever. Amanda Valerius, where is your all-time favorite place to dumpster dive? Barnes and Noble. It's just so much fun. It really is. Fly me to the moon. Ask who is your favorite character in Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball, the original Goku. But if you're talking like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, Super, Gohan. I like watching Gohan grow up and his anger problems. Like, made me like him a lot. Mine's Piccolo. Piccolo. <laughs> Miss Free Drink, how long have you been dumpster diving for? About five years or so. Sherry Blair asks, what is your college major and when will you graduate? That's a good question. Uh, computer science, IT, and probably the beginning of next year. So a year, about a year from now. I should have graduated a long time ago, but I switched schools, I switched majors, and I, I'm an undecided person when it comes to school. So I'm late, I'm paying way too much extra in debt, but at least I'll get the degree I wanted. Osbaldo Julian asks, what is your favorite game on PC? RuneScape. I love RuneScape. It's probably my favorite game of all time, if that counts. It's on the browser, but it's still a computer game. Master underscore no life. I guess ask, what? why is your wallpaper UFC? It says way your wallpaper UFC, but I'm assuming that's Because I'm a diehard UFC fan. Speaking of tattoos, I got that on my arm too, right here. And you guys have seen the other room in the old videos. I have so much money in UFC collectibles, it's unreal. Like, I love the UFC. I love fighting and martial arts. I started Taekwondo when I was six. I've been, I've loved martial arts my whole life. Retro Dealer asks, my question for you is, what is the best video game you have found? Uh, Skyrim probably for the PS4, the Skyrim remastered, but I also played a lot of Black Ops 2 I found on the 360, because that's my favorite zombies game in any Call of Duty one, so to me, Black Ops 2 and Skyrim and Oblivion, I love that game too. Osbaldo Julian, I feel like I read your name earlier, what age did you start dumpster diving? I think 19 or 18 maybe, I don't know. Osby Blaziken, why did you start this channel? Originally for RuneScape, like I said, the whole journey, RuneScape to MMA videos, to gaming videos, to baiting pedophile videos, to dumpster driving videos, and here we are. <laughs> Ashley Simmons asks, my question to enter is, what is your favorite game ever made? RuneScape. Footnote 2020, other than gaming and your friend, family, and partner, what do you love and what makes you happy? Traveling definitely is up there, and as violent as it sounds, fighting. I'm not like fist fighting in an angry brawl, but sanctioned fighting in martial arts. I love competition. I love, just to me, fighting is the most pure form of competition. There's no one to blame but yourself, and you get to see who the real better man is. So I would say martial arts and traveling. Jay Scott asks, what is your favorite thing you found in a dumpster? Again, it's hard to say. DBZ figures or kiosks, depending if you're talking about money or what I like the most. Miss Bren Smith, the fam, asks, you seem like such a nice kid. Your mama raised you right. Do you oh, have any you. siblings? I have a younger brother who's 15. Yep. My favorite game asked, question mark, lol. Um, exclamation mark, lol. <laughs> Kim Lee Carroll asks, Jeebus, I would like to know if you get aggravated with a lot of nonsense questions. Okay, yes, I do. But I, to an extent, like... The haters are one thing, like they dislike your video and leave negative comments, but I'm like, all right, they don't understand how the algorithms of YouTube works. Like every interaction your video gets, whether it's a negative comment or positive comment, thumbs up or thumbs down, it's helping your video grow. So one part of me is like, who cares? Just let them keep seeing how they are. They're like, yeah, it's so fake, fake. I dumpstered on once and I didn't find that. You're fake. Those and the ones where it's like, I found an Xbox One kiosk and he's like, oh, can you ship it to me? 
Can you send it to me? You, I found a DS game. Can you send that to me? No, I found the game. You didn't. I did it. I went out for 80 miles, spent four hours diving. I found it. You didn't. No, I will not. <laughs> Those two things, the haters and the everything I find, they think I'm gonna go out like, I just found it, let me run to the post office and pay $10 to ship it to you. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm dying back here. <laughs> um, Drew Wetzel, where is your best dumpster? Barnes and Noble, which Barnes and Noble, you'll never know. Joyful Abyss asks, how many times a week do you go dumpster riding? If I'm, in, if I'm not out of town, seven days a week, all night. Sometimes twice a day, yeah. Like on Sundays, we'll go during the day to some and then go at night, so maybe eight times a week. I'm not even joking. If we're at work and I go by a store, well, I'll go during the day. I'm, I'm addicted. I really am. It's, it's the purest form of gambling. You don't have to pay nothing. <laughs> Karen Sh Schwingle asks, can you put your pets in one of your videos? I've seen a cat, but I'm not sure you have more. Yeah, we got two cats and a snake, a ball of python. He's actually, I think I don't delete the video a long time ago, but it's actually a video of him eating a mouse. I put on this channel like a year and a half or two years ago if you want to see it, but most people are too squeamish seeing a snake eat a mouse. Jason Bradley asks, is that your face on the little guy in your thumbnail of the dumpster diving vlogs? Maybe. Yes, it is. And I'm amazed. As many people talk about seeing little fractions of my face, I put my face in a thumbnail. So far, three people noticed it. I was just curious to see who would realize it. Um, maybe more people realize that they didn't say anything, but yeah, it is. Face reveal. <laughs> Guy of the Year asks, what's your favorite dumpster I find? Kiosks. Cohen Sykes asks, what do you tell people at yard sales when you have 20 and one item? <laughs> Okay, so there's a few lies I use, because I'm not going to say I got out of a dumpster, because they're going to be like, oh my gosh, you know that magical barrier that's by a dumpster door, that once something crosses into it, it becomes green and gooky and slimy, which that's what people think for some reason. I say two things. One, I'm a storage unit or store auctioner, and I get stuff out of storage units that I usually sell to a lot of people. Also, if you've never worked retail, a lot of stores on penny off items, they're not going to sell no more, and they sell them for a penny or until they can get rid of them. So I'll say I'll buy penny items, stuff like that. Penny items, storage units, those two things usually work. And that's what I tell most people. Gamer Gal 6920 at 9 <laughs> asks three questions actually. So I'll start with the first one. Favorite YouTube video you ever made? Probably the giant Barnes Nova haul that was five parts long. I was just I was up for like 30 some hours straight that day and I was just like I had to go back, and get more, do it all in one day. Favorite YouTuber? Oh man, don't ask me. That is a hard, that is a really hard question. Ever, it would be honestly Smosh in their prime. I love Smosh. I love Smosh so much. Now it's not really the same since Anthony's left, but I don't know. I would say it's prime Smosh would probably be my all-time favorite. And Nelk too. I love Nelk lately. I love in their pranks. I wish I had the guts to do their pranks. They're so funny. And your favorite song? Gosh, that's hard too. Well, Eminem's my favorite artist by far, like by far my favorite artist. But I honestly can tell you, I cannot sit here and think of a favorite song. I can name like a top 20, but that's going to take too long. But Eminem's my favorite. Anything by Eminem, most likely I like. Cash Out Mink with the Steph Curry profile picture. <laughs> Are you still in college? I am, unfortunately. Robin King, what was your favorite dive of all time? The Big Barnes & Noble one, the five-parter. Bren Mabel asks, what are you studying and what do you do after you get your degree? What, what do you want to do after you get your degree? Cry. <laughs> studying IT and computer science. What I really want to do is do YouTube full time. I'm going to keep working on this channel until I graduate. But if it's not there yet, I'll just grind out some crappy job I hate until it gets there. Because there's no stopping me. That's a, I'm, I'm a stubborn person. I'm not stopping until I get what I want. I don't care. I will grow this to the point where it's my full time job. Whether anyone believes me or not, it will happen. It's just how long will it take? Walter Brap 04 Gaming asks, what is your all-time favorite video game console? I've said it millions of times, but I'm going to say it again. You are my favorite YouTuber. Well, thank you. I love doing this, but that is a really hard question. It's somewhere, the Super Nintendo or the PlayStation 2 are probably the two I spent the most time on. And 360's up there too. But those three are probably the three consoles I spent the most time on. Probably the PlayStation 2, because... Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkai, Ichi 3, Bully, San Andreas, the hours I have in those games, you don't, you don't even want to hear about those numbers. It's ridiculous. KD Hub 21, what's your favorite thing that you have found dumpster diving? The D of Dragon Ball Z figures or kiosk. Bessie Roosh, how long you've been doing dumpster diving and where your favorite place to dumpster dive? Love your videos. Five years and Barnes & Noble. 
Karen Iker, why don't you show yourself in your videos? You know, I don't know. At first, I, I honestly said I don't want no one to notice me, but at this point, I'm like, if some store sees me and they see I find their trash and donate it and they're mad, their company's image is going to be the one hurt. So, honestly, it's like a, the mystery thing. It's like, if I should expose myself, just tell me I should. Maybe I will one day. I don't know. Or I will, but I just don't know when. I will. Access 2084 asks, a chicken taco skillet. Gimme. A chicken to oh the box that's the box I showed in the video I'm actually it's right back there you can't see it on camera but yeah that's what it says on it Missy Eatman how did you meet your fiance oh man that is a long story so first basically my mom and her mom were best friends when they were younger her mom moved out of this area like what two hours south or something like that so we were always kind of just friends I guess and now we're like we just kind of see each other every now and then birthday parties and things like that but we never really talked much and then she was a grade ahead of me like what is nine months older than me eight months older than me I don't know the exact number but somewhere like that so I was a sophomore she was a junior prom it kind of stopped tar bleh, talked on Facebook and yeah I went to I went to prom as a sophomore and the rest is history eight years later just about that's the gist of it yeah, just um, and the side note, I've all I had a crush on him for years. So and then it finally happened. So he, he can vouch for it if he had the same thing, but I had like pictures of him in my closet. So that's the truth. What's wrong with your vision. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Baker, thanks for a chance at a giveaway. Though no always problem. cool when channels do that. Have a good night, man. Thank you. Here's this question: Do you make good money dumpster diving? And, no. <laughs> and hope that works for the giveaway lol but for real i want to know if you really do or not and if somehow by miracle i win i just want you to stuff collectibles and game stuff or even stuff for the kiddo i guess he just <laughs> wants to give you to give him i mean it depends on your level like i don't mean to say this in a bad way some people but it depends on your selfishness if if I wanted to take this stuff the kids can use and sell it, I could be making bank, yes, but to me, I just have fun finding it. If I can have fun finding it and recording it and help somebody else out, I'd rather like help a bunch of kids out in the hospital than make 50, 60 bucks. So it depends on you. If you're like, honestly, can just go sell it, then go make the bank. If you need the money, I don't really need, I'm not in a position where I need the money. I'm comfortable where I live, so I don't really need the extra money right now. Stephen Powell asked, do you ever dumpster drive at Best Buy? I'm a new sub. A lot of people ask that too, and yeah, like I said, they all use compactors that crush all the trash, so you can. He also says, Love you, Jeebus. Thank you. Dustin you Ayers, too. who loves when he comes up on pop, pop toys? I, I don't even know what they are. I, I don't know what any of them are, if I'm, but I love it too. It's just satisfying because you know they're cool. Leanne McVeigh, are you going to do another live stream? I want to start doing live streams again, but like I said, trying to go to work, record, edit, and. Do go to college full time at the same time. It's a grind. Like I don't even get to sleep very often. Summer comes around now. You can bet I'll be doing more. Probably doing the live streams again for sure. Billy Lemons, what is your best dumpster diving score? Money wise, the kiosk favorite thing, the Dragon Ball Z figures. <laughs> then Julian one, do you ever dive behind grocery stores? They all so far I found all the ones in my area. Giant uses compactors. Safeway uses compact. There's some shoppers I have found stuff in, but it's not in my area. It's out of the area down in the country is what I've seen. Aldi though, I find stuff at Aldi all the time, but a lot of places don't have Aldi's. They're just a very small grocery store if you don't have them in your area, but I have found a lot of stuff there. This one guy, 13, have you been catching up on Super? I would recommend you watch it sub because it's still awesome. <laughs> I'm not going to watch it till the summer. I hate the once a week thing. Like I said, I really just don't have the time. I really don't. I'm like grinding my you know what off to get these videos done, college done, and go to work every day. I don't have the time. But summer comes around, you can bet I'm going to go buy those DVDs and watch the hell out of them. Zeke McNabb, where do you go to go dumpster driving? GameStop, Barnes, I don't even have that much time. GameStop, Barnes and Noble, Five Below, everywhere, man. Anyone that's got a dumpster that's not a nasty food place. Elevated Gamer asks, do gourmet lollipops go bad? Well, if you look at their chemical composition, you pay attention to what the molecules are made of. How the hell am I supposed to know? I don't know. Just kidding. Cool guy, though. But I really have no idea. Yvonne Okafor, do you like any other sports? Which sports stars do you like or hate the most? Okay, I'm a huge UFC fan, so I love MMA. I wrestled in high school. I watch football, sometimes basketball. Which sports star do I hate the most? Conor McGregor, because everyone loves him and he's ruining the UFC. I hate him. I can't stand him at all. 
And as far as like NBA and NFL, I hate the Eagles and I hate the Patriots, and they just happen to be the freaking two teams in the Super Bowl, which was terrible. But yeah, that's about the extent of it. Amy B asks, what are you studying in college? Computer science and IT. Trash man, did you ever get caught dumpster diving? Lots of time. Well, not lots of times, honestly. Maybe like four or five times in four or five years. So I'm pretty sneaky, I think. Alejandra Uribe says hola. Hola, que paso? I fail Spanish too, so don't expect much from me. AJ Irwin. I'm going to read it exactly how it says. What is your fun you play game? I just, I don't, I don't know. What, what game do I you. play the most? It's fun. Again, I'll say RuneScape on PC, Modern Warfare 2 on Xbox. Those two are probably the biggest games in my life. Scaro81 asks, do you sell a lot of your findings besides donating it? We have yard sales, but that's pretty much the extent of it. I don't sell online or ship or anything like that because shipping's expensive and it's usually worth more than the stuff we find. So yard sales or donations, that's it. Jess Purim asks, if you were an intern for one day, what would that be? A video game company that I love, probably Bethesda or Rockstar again. I know I keep talking about them, but one of those two companies would be pretty freaking sick to work at. Hawaii Wolf 85 asks, what would you really like to find during a dive? Anything Dragon Ball Z related, anything old video game related, vintage game like Nintendo Age, or anything that I know I can help a lot of people, or anything that can make me a butt ton of money. Any of those four things, I'm a happy guy. Weck or Week of Golf asks, who's your celebrity crush? Myself. OG Diver asks, what is your favorite find? Dragon Ball Z figures. Seth Romero says at first, did you ever think you'd grow on YouTube so fast? If you find a Nintendo Switch and give it away, can I call dibs? No, because I'm keeping it if I find it. And honestly, no. I did not expect to reach 10K, especially this quick. Maybe over time. Like I said, if I can reach 10K my first year and a half or two years, I'd be really happy. And I didn't expect to do it in five months, so it really caught me off guard. Robbie Gaming HQ asks, what is your favorite food? Mine's Chicken Alfredo from Olive Garden. Steak from Outback for me specific. Shiny Chestnut <laughs> asks, what is your favorite find from the GameStop? The kiosk, the complete kiosk. Greg Lafreniere <laughs> asks, what is the best thing you have ever found dumpster diving? Again, the kiosk. I like how all these names, like, I know them as I go down. If I try to pronounce them, it'd be terrible. I know all you guys are just from reading your comments, but I could not pronounce the names to save my life. Patricia Snyder asked, do you think daytime or nighttime diving is best? Again, it depends on what you're afraid of. If you're afraid of getting caught, go at night. If you're a friend of, afraid of, like, somebody assaulting you or kidnapping you or something like that, go during the day. It's safer. The second part of second question she had and what day of the week do you find the most it really depends like certain stores you just gotta go to your store every day of the week for like two weeks and you can kind of scope it out and figure it out yourself you gotta do your own recon work you really do every store is different all over the country so i can't tell you for your location sarah amber gay asked three questions first so when did you start Dumpster Diving 2013, YouTube about 2011. What is your favorite place to dumpster dive? Barnes & Noble. Do you have any kids or pets? Two cats and a snake, no kids, and hopefully never no kids. Deanna Tallini asks, how did you start dumpster diving? By watching Tales of Taylor and thinking I don't believe this and going to go try, out, try it and figure out that he was telling the truth. <laughs> And what do you do with everything you don't donate or don't put in a garage sale? Pile it up and hopefully to sell it one day. Or a lot of times that family comes over and it's like, you want to come look at our shop basically? And they can just walk around and take whatever they want. That's how we get rid of a lot of stuff. Chris Schaefer asks, what was the very first thing you found when you started dumpster diving? Um, a roll of Tony Hawk posters, a pack of Tomb Raider posters, and two Steelbook Witcher cases, which the posters I sold for $24 for the Tony Hawk ones, $26 for the um, Tomb Raider ones, and the Steelbook cases went for $7 apiece. So I made like 70 bucks in one night, and I was hooked. Chris M. asks, how far have you drove to go dumpster driving? You don't want to know that. I mean, we drive like 80 miles every night. We've 
gone probably close to 200 miles in one sitting before. Easy, just to dumpster dive different places. Avalina Lewis asked, what is the most expensive thing you've ever found? The complete Xbox One kiosk that had the system in it. We sold for 550 Probably could have got more out of it, but I just wanted to get rid of that thing because it was taking up a lot of room. $550 is what we got for it. Steelers Girl right below says the exact same thing. She asked the same question. <laughs> Well, just rewind it about five <laughs> seconds. No, Xbox One kiosk. Enrique Sauza asks, you don't have afraid that more people start doing dumpster diving in your town and you get out of contact, what would you do then? Honestly, no, because people are still scared of it. Like, I straight up show people that all the games and everything I find, and like, why don't you try it? And they're like, it's gross. It's nasty. Like, they'll come take something I find from it, but if they want to try it themselves, they're still scared. They say it's gross. So, I don't. Th I think people are too high on a pedestal to go out and dumpster dive by themselves because they feel like, oh my god, what are people gonna think of me? Me? I don't care what anyone thinks of me, so I'll always do it. I don't care. But I think they care too much. Crash Gray says, "Congrats on 10K. Keep it up, Thank and you. you'll be at 20K soon. Regardless of prize, I'd like to know why. Why dumpster diving?" There are a million things to do with your time, and you choose this, which is great for you, your family, and the charities you support with clothes and other items. No judgment, just curious. Like I said, I have an addiction to the thrill of the unknown. Before I started dumpster diving, I'm telling you, you don't want to know how much money I waste on buying like scratch-off tickets and things like that, because I just love the thrill of not knowing what I'm going to get, and like dumpster diving just seems to fill the void. Like Since I started dumpster diving, I rarely if ever spend a, even a dollar on like a scratch off ticket. Maybe if I have like a dollar left over from gas or something, I'll get it. But compared to how I used to be, I don't spend nothing on lottery. It's kind of filled my void. I like exploring the unknown. I can't help it. It's fun. GQ asks, says, I love the idea of diving, but have not yet brought myself to do it. What got you into diving and what makes you keep going? Tales of Taylor channels what got me into it. And helping people, making money, and having freaking fun and growing a YouTube channel helps me keep growing. Seeing all the comments and the support and everything is just like, I gotta grind. If I have to just not sleep for 48 hours, I'll just do it. That's just the way it goes. Jimmy Gillespie asks, what ice cream do you like? Chocolate chip cookie dough is the best ice cream in the world. <laughs> By far. Alicia Hardman asks, how did you get started on YouTube? By making, like everyone does, thinking that you're going to put a stupid video on YouTube and go viral overnight and then finding out the hard way it takes lots of work, hours, and dedication to grow up somewhere. I remember the first thing I ever recorded in my life and put on YouTube was the Omegle pranks people used to do back in the year. I, I would just cut on a I'm a Barbie girl song and just dance on it in front of people and I put it on YouTube and like, oh, I got a copyright claim right off the bat and then realized that no one cared about the videos and realized how, how much hard work they really put into it. It makes you gain respect for the people that actually made it big. Most of them. Some people get lucky, but a lot of people put hard work into it. Jimmy Gillespie says hi again. Hey, how's it going? Talon Dylan asks, why do you not have more subs? I don't know, man. We gotta work on that. We gotta work on that. We need more. We need like a million. I need a gold play button. I want to look nice and have a nice gold play button like right here, silver here, and gold there just sitting behind me. That would look sick. We're going to get there. That's the thing. It's coming. I guarantee you. I'll bet you my life right now. We'll get that thing. It's not. It's just when. That's the only question is when. David Smith asks, is that a hidden eater Easter egg picture of your face in the vlog videos? It is. It is. And nobody even notices. Very few people even noticed. But it is my face. Now everybody knows if they watch it. Yeah, now everyone <laughs> knows. Go check out that thumbnail. Mike Khan asks, so close. What is the most money you made on an item you got dumped for diving? The single item was that kiosk. Man, 550 bucks on one trip. That was one great night. Jay Rotonda asks, what got you in interested in dumpster diving? Tales of Taylor. Casey Lee Brown asks, when you get married, would you like a themed wedding? If so, what theme would it be? No, we just kind of want to be by water. We talk about beach, Niagara Falls, something like that. Niagara Falls where we actually got engaged at. Maybe Niagara Falls, but I mean, no real theme. We never thought about a theme. We only thought about colors. Like, yeah, I, like colors. Li I like light blue and white, but I mean, red, black, and white really... It's like sophisticated and go really well together, and it's UFC, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. It's up in the air with that one. The location, though. I just, I love water. I really do. Kayla O, again, 
What's the most expensive thing you found? How much have you made selling things that you found? The most expensive thing again is that kiosk, and I mean, I've made a few grand easy off selling stuff. We made we, every yard sale we've had, we made probably three hundred to five hundred dollars, somewhere in between that. Yeah, minus YouTube. I mean, I'd say. Yeah, this grand. is just from selling the stuff, not accounting the little bits of money you get from YouTube ads too. Just from selling the stuff, we made a few grand. Sarah Dobson. She has a few questions, so I'll just read them all one by one. Are there specific nights to hit specific dumpsters? Yes, but you have to figure that out yourself in your own area. It's different around, like I know what days of the week I'm most likely gonna get my boxes from Barnes and Noble. What days of the week I'm most likely gonna get a five below return bag. With every store is different, so you gotta figure that out yourself by going consistently. What's your favorite dumpster? Barnes and Noble. How old are you? 24. How long have you been diving? Five years about. What area are you in? United States of America. <laughs> have you found any new places to dive? I always try places. Like if we go out of town, I'll just try. If it has a dumpster and it looks interesting, I'm checking it out. Cause why not? Free stuff always interests me. Like I'm like a hoarder almost. Like if it's free, I'm like, sweet, it's free. Like, what are you gonna do with it? I have no idea, but it's free. Let's take it. Last question, do you get tax receipts when you donate? You can, they offer it to me, but like I said, you, I think the rule is you gotta itemize to even use it, so since I don't do that, I know I don't take them ever. Charlie Blackard asks, what is your favorite superhero in Marvel? I don't watch any Marvel or any superhero. I watch the Justice League, kind of, but I'm Dragon Ball Z. I'm saying Goku, he's, he, he's so tough, he's Marvel too, in my opinion. <laughs> Left-legged pineapple. Ask, <laughs> what did you want to be when you were little? You really want to know? I want when I was like three years old. I wanted to drive a trash truck. No joke. I don't know why. It's ironic, right? I wanted to drive a trash truck when I was three, and what am I doing now? I'm digging through trash, making videos. So I'm just a trashy person, I guess. <laughs> Christian Echeverry or Echeverry has two questions. Best thing you found? Xbox One kiosk. And your favorite place to dumpster dive? Barnes and Noble. Charlotte Clark asks, says, okay, here's a question. What is your, what is your six favorite foods of the rainbow? Like choose one for red, one for orange, one for yellow, and so on. Oh man, that's so hard. Okay, red is gonna be a nice, like good cooked steak. I like my steak pink and red. If it's well done, it's just put it in the trash and I'm not taking it out either. Um, orange, I don't even know. Or That's a hard one. I don't even like anything orange. I can't even think of a, like a joking like candy to think of. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Duh. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. I love cheese. All right. Yellow. I hate bananas. I hate everything. I hate lemons. I hate everything flavored like that. I'd say cheese again, man. Cheese. There's yellow cheese. All right. And G green. I'm literally saying Roy G. Biv in my head. <laughs> green. I don't. Green doesn't get along with me. I hate vegetables. I'm like a kid. There's nothing green I can think of. You know, a green M&M. &M. <laughs> blue? A blue M&M. &M. Or actually, a blue Airhead. Yeah. An indigo? I don't know. I have no idea. Some type of candy somewhere. And That's violet. indigo colored. Yes. And violet. <laughs> Let me think here. A violet colored candy. <laughs> I don't eat vegetables. This is why I look so, you know, in great shape. <laughs> Richard Sparks asks, what is the, he has a few questions, what is the main thing you're trying to find dumpster diving? That is a good question too, I have no clue, just anything, I just like, like I said, I just like finding stuff, I can find stuff I have absolutely no use for ever and I'm still excited, it's just, it's like treasure hunting, it's just finding stuff that shouldn't be free and you're getting it for free. What's your favorite thing you have found dumpster diving? Dragon Ball Z figures for me and Xbox One kiosk to sell. And one more thing, how did you and your fiance meet? You said you don't really like talking to strangers, how did you guys like connect? Through online? Well, we, we knew each other already for years since we were little, but it was through Facebook. <laughs> but I mean, we're talking about family connections back to our grandparents. Our grandparents are friends, I mean, they hung out together, our moms are friends. He was at like my first birthday party. We went to birthday parties every year after amusement that. Amusement parks. Yeah, amusement went to couple different amusement parks together anything that our moms wanted to do together to put us together we were together but when we grew up it was like we didn't really know about each other at yeah. all and it was kind of weird because I always called his mom aunt and I yeah, found girls out are. And their best friend <laughs> like my mom and her mom's best friend so they call each other sisters even though they're no relation at all yeah
So I, I always thought that he was like my cousin all that time. And then they were like, oh, no, you're not related. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I pretty much initiated everything. So he didn't, all he had to say was like one word answer. So it was pretty easy on his part. That's me. I told you before. <laughs> And I can honestly say now that if you didn't, I don't think I, I would have ever said anything. And I know you guys <laughs> always say that we're like a good pair because we are complete opposites. I have no temper, I'm patient, easygoing, whatever, really calm about everything and he's complete opposite. And I can talk yeah. to people, so. I can't talk to people. I get impatient, like, I realize it growing up in like a city populated area to where like if I go, like the, yeah, last weekend we went down to the country, it's so beautiful, but then you realize how slow everything moves and you realize like it's like embedded in my head. Like I, I get impatient, I don't mean to, but I'm just like, come on. You, you, when you find yourself doing this thing, you know you're raised in too much of a populated area. You're like, come on, go, do something. I don't mean to be impatient, but it's just like, you know what I mean? You've become accustomed to it your whole life. Like you, you should be able to go at this speed, let's go. Moving on. Yeah, that was a long one. <laughs> Kid Prince Vaughn asks, how was your first dumpster driving? Scary as crap, terrified. I mean, five years later, I'm still nervous if I see people, so. But it just it gets easier as you go. It, we found some posters and some cases. That was it the first time we went. Curtis Schultz asks, what's the most unexpected thing you found that shocked you? It had to be the deer. It really did. That just ripped apart deer. It's like, you could see the rib bones and stuff in the dumpster. That was pretty creepy. Vernon Moon asks, which place do you like to dumpster drive the most? Barnes & Noble. Candy Eliason asks, what is your favorite thing you have got? My Dragon Ball Z figures on the shelf over there. William Lorenzo, can I have an iPhone 6 case? Uh, let me think about it now. 6S case. Oh, definitely. S now. <laughs> Sissy Sax Saxon, what's your favorite game that you play the most? Now, like, honestly, I've... I'm still a gamer at heart. I still see a game looks cool and I'd go buy it and then I'd play it and then I don't really play it anymore because I'm just doing so many things at once. Like I said, trying to do YouTube every, like uploading and editing videos every day is, takes a lot of time. Going to school takes a lot of time. Going to work doesn't take too much time, but it still takes my time and you just don't have the time to play it. I'm on that YouTube hustle right now. That's how I feel like. I just want to grow. All I'm focused on, no matter what I'm doing, is growing this channel. That's all I can think about 24 seven. Like a freaking CEO guy that all they think about is their business. That's how I feel. And here's the last question. Which is technically the first, so who got yeah. here the quickest? Well, William Lorenzo said hi first, technically, but the first hey. question was Brandon Shaw. He asked, what is your favorite Dragon Ball Z or Super character? With Go. exclamation marks and question marks for days. Gohan, because you get to see, he's like the only guy. I know Goku, you get to see grow up too, but Gohan, I can relate some more. He's like this smart, soft-spoken kid, but... When you make him mad, he's a psycho that can basically destroy anybody that gets in his way. I could, I just relate to him more. Emiliano Saucido <laughs> asked, what type of gun was that in the safe opening video? Hold on. It's actually a Springfield XD 9mm. 16 rounds in the clip, can put one in the chamber and hold 17 total rounds, semi-automatic, my baby. Never jammed me once in four years of owning, probably 3,000 rounds shot through that thing. Is that the last one? Well guys, that was the longest video I've ever done on YouTube. This has to be about an hour long, but thanks for everyone for sending in the questions. And now at the moment, I'm pretty sure everyone's been waiting for. Let's do a giveaway. We're gonna put everyone to put a comment in the random generator and let's generate this stuff. Boom. If that was you, just message me on one of the social media links. Everything will be in the description. Twitter, Snapchat. I don't even know you can message. I have no idea what I'm doing with Snapchat, but we have it. Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. All the links are in the description. Just message me whatever you use, and we'll try to get it to you as soon as possible. But once again, thank you guys so much for all the support. I can't believe this. 10,000 subscribers. 10,000. I don't want to break my sign, but 10,000. 10K. Like, we are a tenth of the way there to 100K. A tenth of the way to getting that silver plaque. And... Oh, when I get it, I'm going to hug it, I'm going to squeeze it, I'm going to sleep with it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Leave the video a double big fat thumbs up. And make sure to follow us on the social media link below and hit the notification bell. 
thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support so much. I can't express it enough. So thank you so much. And until next time, peace out.